Right then, hello, my name's Bruce Tallity. Um, this is the first one of these that I've done. It's um, going to be a video about uh, a very special amplifier that I was actually given. Uh, I've, I've, I've looked this up on, uh, on the internet and I can't find anything like it at all. I think this amplifier is pretty much unique. Um, feel free to tell me I'm wrong. But uh, basically I've been given um, an amplifier that has been that was a Dancet style record player and has been, been converted into a harmonica amp, valve amp. Uh, it was originally a spinny, I don't know if you can see that, uh, I'd say it's a... a a dance set style record player, uh, 60s kind of thing. You can see some washing in the back there. Scooby Doo. This is in my uh, my kitchen. So uh, I'll show you I'll show you around the amplifier first of all, and then uh, I'll play some harp through it for you. Hopefully it'll come all right, out all right on this video. Um, it's got some really cool features. Um, there's been put on the front. We've got um, a quarter inch jack input obviously wouldn't have been there the speaker is underneath here I'll show you the speaker in a minute but just going around the outside we've got um, we've got some chicken head knobs this is um, the volume control and also the on switch so I'll actually I'll turn it on now you hear a click I'll put it on about two thirds of the way. This is a treble control and this is the bass. So uh, we've got, uh, you can open it up and I'll show you the inside. We've got some catches on either side here. Open those up and I'll show you the inside. Here we go. Uh, if you can see that inside there got some original circuitry and some modded things as well. Um, valves, you can just about see glowing there. Uh, I was told what valves are in it. I think there's some EL84s in there, um, but I can't quite remember what was in there or what has been put in there. And there is the speaker as well, which is uh, an oval sort of shaped speaker, as you can see. And we've got shielding in there and in the top. I'll say give you a good look at some of the resistors and capacitors and bits and bobs in there. Wires and things. Okay. Um, you can play it with the top open. Um, it's a bit more trebly that way. You get a bit better bass response if you close the top down. So, which I prefer, I'll close the top with the catches Get that on properly. Okay, All right. It should have warmed up properly now. I'll uh, put the camera down. Hopefully, you'll still be able to see. I don't see. You can see the amplifier. You might be able to see me playing harp as well. Um, and first of all, I'll I'll get my mic and the harp, and uh, I'll play it just the sound of the amplifier on its own. I've got some pedals uh, plugged in as well. Um, I'll show you those quickly now. Actually, we've got um, do it the right way around. We've got a um, lone wolf harp break and we've also got a lone wolf harp delay as well uh, but first of all I'll play you the amp just the amp on its own and then I'll play you the pedals one at a time on top of the sound of the amp Okay. so uh, this is the amp fully cranked it's just the sound of the amp um, on its own uh, none of the pedals or anything um, I'll introduce the pedals one at a time so this is just the sound of the amp on its own. 